What is going on guys, it's Crazy Pickle and welcome back to another Skyforge videos. So today, I'm starting this zero pay to win challenge in Skyforge. I'm pretty sure a lot of you or new players or maybe players who thinking about to play Skyforge, very excited about it. So I'm actually excited as well because with all the changes they just dropped with this new update, um, it's, uh, it's really interesting because there was a lot of what they say on the patch notes that actually got me you know thinking how actually easy or bad it's gonna be for new players i didn't see any notices for end game players uh, there's some middle class players who kind of got you know it's not as good i would say compared to new players and the end game but anyway this is all about the zero pay to win challenge and let's start it right now so keep in mind, this footage is going to be almost 100% raw footage. Like I said before, I'm going to try to play at least 3 to 4 hours a day. And then try and also try to post videos daily. So like one day what I played, what I've done, I will post it and I will talk about it. And maybe give some tips and tricks, you know, what I've done, how to do this, how to do that. And it, but again, it's all my experience. It's all my opinion. Any other players who, you know, play the game for a long time may have a different approach. Keep in mind, I will do it my way. Maybe I'll ask around and see if there is any easy options for it. But again, I will do it just from my experience. So we're just going to go and pick up the guy. Let's go for this one right here. And we're just going to make it really funny. We're just going to make him super fat and shirt body type height. And make him small 30 yep there you go mass is 100 lean i don't know what is that means all right body features hands are big let's, let's just go big <laughs> but it's oh my god <laughs> yeah everything that's all fine so we're just gonna keep it like that i mean hairstyle uh skin color hair color let's go for just basic black next we're not gonna have any facial stuff there you go. And we're just going to try to go zero. Okay. And then last name will be to win. Hopefully it's going to work. So run. Going to do the heavy one. Stance is a normal. And what about aggressive? Kind of like easy stance. Then let's go for the normal one. Let's go for the deep voice and let's start the game. All right, so another part that I'm not gonna, I'm, I tr I'll try to keep some of the scenes in the game. Um, maybe probably just the storyline. I will still think about it because again, I wanted to, to make a completely raw footage, you know, just what I'm doing and pretty much kind of cut in pieces here and there and just explain what I've done, how I've done it and things like that. So I'll, I'll do my best guys. So just, you know, don't judge me too hard, okay? So I have to talk to this guy first. I'm not going to actually talk too much about it. He's not going to tell me anything that I already don't know. So, and oh, let's just, uh, let's just go. Let's just go. So again, the tutorial. Oh yeah, that's, that's actually another part. So what I want to talk about, because the patch notes mentioned that the tutorial that they come up with or that they reworked for the new players are a little bit different and more what they, I believe they saying better i think so we're definitely gonna check that out but so far the first mission is not gonna show us a lot anything i would say it's pretty much gonna be the basic there is not nothing hard to do so we just go and kill mobs and things like that <laughs> another funny part that i'm actually can still curious that the lot boss that we're gonna fight just in the moment right here next to the barn is it still some people having troubles to actually kill that thing so i know i heard a long time ago uh probably maybe like a year or so ago that some people had actually troubles killing that first first guy right here so let's just uh start the scene so yeah th this boss the big rat thingy so i i was surprised when people actually was uh you know having hard try hard, hard times to kill this this boss it, it's very easy like I mean, it's easy for me because I know what needs to be avoided, but it's simple. It's just uh, using left basic attacks. Don't worry about his basic attacks. The only thing you have to worry about 
is this attack right here. See, he's charging. Uh, boom, just walk around. Walk around. Or if you want it, you can just dash it on the side. And keep in mind that every bar you drop from a boss, it drops the healing orb. So that's pretty cool. Because that way you can heal yourself, which is not really necessary unless you somehow mess it up and didn't avoid this massive attack he's charging. But it's easy to kill this guy. Alright, so we didn't die because we are immortals. So this is where we got the first achievement. The cool thing about this game, what I like, it's the scenes of this game. There is uh, like, when they make in a story, there is a cool scenes that looks amazing, you know, and I don't know, it, it's just so a appealing that it's really exciting to actually watch it. So that's what I'm probably going to try to do, because since the gameplay will be kind of daily, uh, well, at least I'll try to make it daily. So that way I will put the scenes inside as well. So keep in mind that videos might be longer than usual. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The power. Well, that guy is still alive. He told me you will pay for them. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not paying for anything. Have you seen my name? It's zero pay to win. So my dude, you are completely wrong. Really easy to kill it. Like like you simply don't do anything. Boom. Of course you have to don't stand on that thing. Yeah. Definitely don't stand on those grabby hands. If you need a healing orb, just pick it up. And then use the massive attacks. Boom, you go easy. Like the first missions are always easy to do. There is some part in the provinces when we actually get to that point. It's probably might become a little bit harder to do it so all right so we're gonna talk to the herida goddess advisor welcome to eleanor i'll i take it you had pleasant trip i'm hearing okay yeah so we, i'm not gonna do all this talk right here yeah learn to use new power i get it she's gonna talk to me about how it's important to be or how you know how many responsibilities i'm gonna have as the immortal Go to the search center, talk to Flavius. The Flavius is another god, but this is a god scientist. I'm gonna talk to him as well. Hello, blah, blah, blah. He's gonna tell me, go to your training room and let's do some training. So you're gonna talk about the classes, you know. So we're now gonna have only three classes available. You will have Paladin, Cryomancer, and Lightbinder. Ah, okay, so I'm never, ever, ever, when I make a new characters by doing those beginners guide, I never picked Paladin at all. I was either playing Cryomancer or Lightbinder. In this case, I would go... Uh, it's, I will still go Light... Well, no. See, th this is where it becomes a little bit harder for me to choose because I know I like both classes to play. I can play Lightbinder you know new mission for the just the new players you know missions or crime answer they both good light binder can protect yourself you can protect yourself as well in crime answer the crime answer this time around has the bonus for atlas but of course it's a party distortion so i don't i don't think i'm going to be able to do anything in this invasion at all so i'm just going to go with the light binder which is the support class but still it's pretty good in damage early early stages in the game he's gonna ask us to do quick uh, look at that fat little guy he's gonna quick uh, tutorial basic attacks how to use your abilities and stuff which is pretty simple I, I don't think you really need the tutorial like that but most games just shows uh, it's kind of like a showcasing I guess so we're just gonna do this real quick and then we're just gonna start jumping straight to the provinces 
All right, so after completing this quick kind of a tutorial, how to use your abilities and all that, then you give you a guide form and use your some abilities right there. Uh, pretty simple again. I don't think you have gonna have any confusions here. It's pretty straightforward. So right now, after you talk to him, he's gonna tell you equip some items. And again, the P if you are a PS uh, PC player, so the P to open your equipment uh, window. So you can click on it and equip the weapon. Equip the equip the artifact that you got. So of course you're gonna get some Cryomancer Paladin weapon as well because all these three classes available for you at any time. So let's say if you want to switch from whatever class you choose to a different class, just simply when you're out of combat, just go ahead and switch. And yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, so talk to Herida at the Divine Observatory. I don't think it was ever like that before. The time you come out of the research center, I think it puts you straight to the Divine Observatory before. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section down below. But I think it wasn't like that before. I don't think I have to actually go. Let's accept the package. So we have seven days reward. So it looks like rewards are pretty the same. Nothing really changes here. There's a costume. I think in the amount of in order of amount of uh, how much you get, I don't think re nothing really changes. We're just gonna accept it and go to the divine observatory. But again, I don't think it actually was like that. I think I it put me straight to the divine observatory after I came out. The training room all right to open the campaign map press k or use the globe model in the divine observatory so you see you can have two options obviously the shortcut is a is the the best one but you can go to this right here to the planet and actually use your interact button like the space for me for example but we're not gonna do it you know i mean it looks pretty cool so but we're just gonna use your k Whatever, if you're on consoles, it's going to be a little bit different. So I'm pretty sure it will tell you what needs to be done in order to get in this page. I noticed that the pictures are a little bit different as well of these missions, which looks pretty cool to me. And wow, okay, the first the first uh, province already have the reward because it wasn't like that before. As far as I remember, the last time that it was the reward was starting at Artem uh, Artemian Mountains. The first three provinces you didn't get shit, I believe, the first time. And now they changed that, so you do got some stuff. Let's see, Spark of Transformation 500, three days premium subscription. Okay, Light Binder costume, Cryomancer costume, and Paladin costume. Wow, unless I'm wrong, but as far as I remember, Ar Artemian Mountains. That's when the all this reward was starting out. So let's just go to the first mission. Again, the first day right now is going to be pretty quick, pretty simple. It is nothing really, you know, too confusing about. I mean, if you still confused, please leave the leave the questions in the comment section and I will definitely respond as soon as I can. So this scene at the last boss is actually pretty pretty cool. So we're going to fight this little guy. Well, he's not little, but He's gonna fight him, and then after that, when we kind of kill his first stage, uh, it will give the cool scene about it. So let's just do this real quick and kill him. Again, it's all—it's also like really, really easy to kill this guy. You like you have to avoid only this attack, but you can see that you know when he's charging, when to actually avoid it. So it's like it's all about the paying attention on the animation of you know movement of the enemy. So if you see something. He's doing something weird, like you better just move. So now he's gonna get upgraded. Now we're just gonna have to fight him again. But that scene was pretty cool. Like, I really do enjoy all the scenes that they have in the game. It looks very cool, very, you know, well done. And it's it's just, it's like you're watching a movie pretty much. All right, so we just talked to all of them, both of them. So we do have all three quests for all three classes. I don't see, yes. I don't see the quest tab yet. 
but usually when you switch to the class it will be the same quest on the right top corner path of the light binder or path of the cryomancer or path of the paladin so open the campaign screen by pressing k then select the temple of any class okay why does it uh, tell me that but okay Fill of new abilities we need to complete quests our abilities effective against monsters other uh, okay i get that part so yeah pretty much you don't have to do anything because you do have the oh you can now open a quest list okay classes again you switch it's pretty much the same you just kill the enemies with your class that you want to upgrade and as you can see oh my god close that and you can see right now it says zero percent path of the light binder it says zero percent so when it reach hundred percent you will get one ability next and in order to actually see which one you get of course you can open a temple and it will tell you which ability you get pretty simple again pretty straightforward nothing really crazy press i and learn ability abilities the companion abilities tab so i to open your abilities menu companion abilities tab right here that was really weird <laughs> it was just a head loading oh wow okay so this is all your companion abilities which we're definitely gonna talk later in this challenge like way way later uh, because right now there is no point of this uh, like just don't even pay attention on this right now yes there is a bunch of companion abilities that do make your kind of a play style a little bit easier but right now you can read about it if you wanted to but for now just don't worry about it because uh, they just introduce it kind of too early as well uh, and you cannot simply just buy them anyway so all right all the quests are displayed in the quest tab all right we got that part carry out an inspection of factory 501 so what's gonna happen right now i'm just gonna go through all the missions real quick as fast as i can uh, if there is anything will pop during that mission i will definitely uh, gonna talk about it and see if it's actually important or not that's gonna be the priority whatever's important i will definitely talk about it whatever is not important it's not gonna be in the video because i don't want to make videos too long as well but at least each episode will be probably around 30 minutes each i would say i hope not longer than that at least all right guys so funny part that it's a really good change definitely really good change now you can actually group up with people right from the beginning like seriously right from the beginning this is the very first mission that I just completed it and i'm running right now with uh with one of my friends which is not a senpai that definitely makes a lot easier for new players because if you move into the game with somebody else and you want to play it together here we go you can do it and it's really easy that way you can actually combine you know support with dps or support with tank like right now we have it oh um, finally skyforge did something really cool man guys i'm really really excited this is so amazing first f amazing part that you can actually group up with people right from the beginning the only one thing we have to see how it actually works can you invite higher ranks players probably not they definitely consider that somehow but it might be still somehow in the game so we're definitely gonna have to check that out okay so after completing factory 501 you're gonna get your capital available and tower of knowledge will be first so it's gonna tell you i believe to do some upgraded rank of the tower of knowledge so that, that's what you're gonna have to do just simply upgrade it once i believe i mean you can do it one more time and let's do upgrade boom rank one we got 15 mites from it let's go so let's see what's next is the find out what is happening on oki island and actually another part when it was doing the uh, factory 501 at the last boss you know if you use those wires that on the floor when you activate each terminal there's the electricity going through, through that wire if you stand on that electricity it can actually kill you that happens with a naughty senpai he was like what the hell is going on he's like i'm like what happened he's like that electricity from the wire just killed me so be careful on that part as well all right guys so we completed another province which is probably the second one so this is what you get from the box right now which is you get one scientific development project for your tower of knowledge i'm not sure how much it gives you we'll look at the bag 
so you get the rare ring which it doesn't really matter for the rare rarity of the item you get some healing items you get weapon chest for the blue weapon you got 800 followers which is pretty good it's about 80 might for your character and you have 500 origins so let's accept that and then let's look at the bag so let's see how many rings so it gives you one rank okay makes sense it's not gonna give you a lot but at least it's a one free rank it's pretty pretty good let's see what we get for the weapon we definitely gonna get the blue weapon all damage for light binder definitely better than the green one that i have we're gonna equip that and yeah we're just definitely gonna use this uh, scientific development project so yeah we're just gonna keep going guys and yeah i would probably try to meet you probably at the end of this video because for right now we just keep running all the missions back to back without even stopping we i literally skipping all the scenes i don't think i'm gonna spoil anything of that if you're a new player or if you're just starting out you just i would prefer for you to just experience the storyline i would recommend not to skip any storyline because it's very interesting as well plus there is also cool scenes all right guys i'll probably gonna see you at the end of this video all right guys so after playing through just one two three three provinces so what we've done uh together me and senpai we completed the provinces and the cool thing about that which i just mentioned about is uh is this the reward so definitely reward is completely changed it's really really nice so what we just uh, when we completed uh, this province right yes the linus province when we completed this is the box i got so you can you do you know able to see pro uh no you can't so you have to be in the province to actually see the reward but anyway so the pro previous province that i cleared so we do have the reward rare sapphire rare artifact 800 followers 2000 spark of transformation which is not bad 500 victor medals and five stimulants so let's just open it up and there you go i received it looks like that which is awesome well, it's a previous box so every box will give you something different something like that which is pretty pretty nice the reason why they giving you the blue gear it's just because it gives you the secondary one secondary stat so definitely see what's the better sapphire critical damage bone damage mine has tw 10 and 12 but because i do have the protection against control not really worth to lose four percent of main damage am i just gonna stick with this for now and just keep that in my bag it got me to rank 17 and so let's see i did upgrade actually my cathedral with credits a little bit so at this point right now how the progression system works as far as i see you do have to upgrade your uh, cathedral anyway so because if you're not going to be able if you're not going to do it if you try to save credits then you're going to struggle through the provinces so as well as you have to upgrade your tower of knowledge definitely which is for now it's really easy amounts and the percentage actually goes really high look at that it just jumped from 30 percent to 100 so i got 70 percent boost just with one of course it's a chance but it's still possible at least while it's in the lower ranks so and you don't have to save up the knowledge of enemies right now so it's better just upgrade because it will bump up your uh, rank so from 17 i already dropped two ranks right there so 19 course the mission that i'm gonna do at this point is definitely higher than me but i mean it's 24 even with a 19 for me it shows green so it means i'm still gonna be able to do it another part of that what i noticed because we were doing stuff together and i'm kind of thinking like okay if i'll do something solo for example as a light binder i might be still be able to do it just because i kind of know what's to avoid you know maybe some bosses mechanics i do know that uh, but it's still probably going to be more harder compared if you would play Paladin or Cryomancer. Even with the group, when we was playing, uh, Naughty Senpai uh, was Paladin and he was dealing a pretty good damage. And of course, the survivability is also high. So you kind of can look into it and see if you, you know, struggling to do missions as a Cryomancer or a Lightbinder and then just play Paladin on that part so it definitely you know it works i seen him you know tanking a pretty good amount i barely shield them at all as a light binder and since you can consider that when you go solo into the mission all full 
kind of bonus damage as a solo player you get is fully assigned to you but if you're doing that as a group that damage bonus it's kind of loses it splits between characters um so that's you have to kind of keep that in mind as well all right guys so i just finished my first region on i believe satria province yep the red coast so i completed just now let's just accept the reward of course it's gonna be what is it and 2500 first clear uh knowledge of enemies Okay, awesome. Let's accept that. So also what I wanted to talk about that the first time when you complete your Thias Temple, of course, don't forget to accept the Bastion quests when you complete the province. Definitely do that at all times. Kind of keep it in your head, you know, just remind yourself. When you complete the Thias Temple, the first thing you will kind of have to go to uh, the research center, to so the capital, then the research center. And talk to this person, talk to that person. It's pretty straightforward. It tells you where to go, what to do. So, and after that, you will get your first squad directives. So, in my case, it was the next mission on this Artemian Mountain uh, province, which is the Thandi Drilling Station. So, as a directive, you will just go there, do it, complete it, and then you'll get the whatever rewards shows you on your directives. So when you completed it, the region and group missions for your directives will be unlocked as well. So this is your first introduction for the directives and your first three missions which you can do. At some point, I believe you will have the battles unlocked. I don't know when, but I believe at some point it should be unlocked. The only missions that will be locked until you got your, get your god form is invasion and trials. So I'm just gonna, cause I already did that. So I'm just gonna accept that. Of course, it's gonna give me the stupid intelligence data because we do have the nine events going on at the time that I'm actually starting this damn challenge. But yeah, let's just get the reward. So same mission, I believe, right? So you can upgrade, uh, but you get the gold directives, what they call it a gold one. When you have, if you see the like a flag, gold flag here or that gold uh, spinning kind of symbols around the picture. That's when it's gold. You get those daily. You can store up to seven of those. If it hits seven, it's not going to give you any more. So you have to do it. Um, but I'm not going to do this right now. What else? Um, rank 19. As I just talk about it. Let's see what I have. Oh, get this reward for your efforts. What? I think I got that costume also on my main account so i believe everybody got it i'm not sure so if you did get this costume and you didn't even accept uh, expected it so let me know in the comment section down below but this is actually a pretty good costume i'm gonna run it on my fat guy i guess everybody everything is pretty basic yeah i think this is the best costume i can rock so um as you can see right now i'm on a cryomancer the one thing I'm going to try, as I just as I to was talking about like earlier, you know, which class you should play if you're trying to do the solo part. I will try to do missions solo on my light binder, some of the missions, and see how it actually goes. That way I can actually do my judgment on how hard or is it okay, is it fine to do it if you're soloing. But again, keep in mind that DPS class is a DPS class. I know the Paladin deals pretty good damage, but it's only early stages. The uh, later stages or mid mid game end game, it's all about the gear and weapons you have for it. So, but for now, I do I did this region as as a cryomancer. The reason why I, I did that is because I wanted to get the abilities on my cryomancer, and that's the best way to do it. If you want to learn new class or just to get abilities on your new class you're trying to play, best way always go to the regions. Let's just open this one. Always goes to the region and do that. It's easy to kill mobs there. It gives you same amount of uh, progression for your quest when you unlock an abilities. Even if you do the squad mission or group mission, it will give you the same amount. So just do the regions. It's easy. Plus you do in the first clear regions as well. And you get that knowledge of enemies because you're going to need that knowledge of enemies for your tower of knowledge. And I have... So 500 per research. Let's get boom. I got some rank right here. Let's see. I'm just going to use another five times, I believe. And boom, another rank. Here we go. We got rank 21. So we got another two ranks just by getting two ranks on my tower of knowledge. Pretty good. 
should I upgrade my cathedral right now? I probably not going to do it. I will kind of try to save up a little bit. If I really have to do my cathedral, then I will do it for now. I'm just going to try to save my credits because I think 24, I'm rank 21, three rings difference, not a big deal. I'm pretty sure with rank 21 ish, 22 ish, I can actually complete the entire province right here. The next ones, I will see how it goes and I'll update you on that part as well. All right, guys. So I've been playing right now for about probably five or six hours. So what I've done so far. I've done three provinces and of course we did three provinces myself and Naughty Senpai so we did it and we think we did the Thunder Drilling Station and then so after that I was doing some other stuff around so what I've done as well I completed these two regions right here um, what else I've done let's see so I've done actually a couple of uh, these two symbols on the Bastion so next one in order to uh, Unlock it for me. I have to actually have to be in divine form. I mean, get my god form. So pretty much same for this one as well. It says you must unlock the divine form first. And this one, I'm still working on this. But I think the divine intervention intervention still better than this. Uh, but they both really good. I would still prefer to using divine intervention. So I don't really have to stress too much about this bastion right here because i already got what i need and yeah so i kind of start working through this mission i did this mission right now and it's actually interesting what they've done they actually did the some of the regions on the golden road as well it doesn't have to be i mean it doesn't mean you have to complete the entire region because it's only for the storyline uh like this one right here doesn't have the region this one you have the veins region and yep that's pretty much all and i think you have the iskenian peninsula region right here and i think that's that's all yeah so and then the last oh no the roku valley is the last region on the philomenas so you do have at least what three regions on the golden road it doesn't mean you have to complete them uh what i'm right now right here this is the hologram so but the storyline you're gonna talk to the hologram right here and you will have two options you will have you will have option to enable all the optional tasks on the region or if you just want to go through the storyline you can just go for like option that something says like no need i need just my mission so i believe it will disable all of the you know optional missions that you can usually go later when you want to complete the actual region for the first um for the first clear for the 25k and then you can just go after you completed the storyline and then just complete a bunch of quests there and but right now like there is no quests at all it's just the storyline which is just for me right now that works perfectly and so a little bit earlier in the video i mentioned that i want to try to see how hard it is to do stuff light binder when you know it gets further and further uh into the provinces so right now i'm rank 23 and it, i did the uh tau experimental station as a light binder it was in this rank and this is the 24 rank it was good so i believe still as the cryomancer it will be faster to do since you do have like control abilities you do have the white out there that you can um, kill multiple enemies at the same time. In general, Lightbinder right click, for example, Lightbinder's right click is not that strong to do a lot of damage, but it was still okay. So if you still want to stick with a line binder or whatever class you're playing, you can definitely do that. So in this case, right now, all three classes are really playable through the storyline before you got form. So of course, I would still recommend getting uh, abilities on a cryomancer and light binder because i think on my opinion when you're gonna get your god form and you're gonna have to do the missions if you want to try to do some missions solo yes you can do it as a paladin you would have a little bit more survivability but it will take you definitely longer to do the missions if you are really wanting to do that then definitely you can do paladin and just stick with that and just do missions like that but i think on my opinion 
the light binder and cryomancer are still would would be the best option just because if you're doing this something as a group then you can definitely support people as a light binder maybe you're not gonna know what exactly what to do you know but if there is a people and they like you know nice enough the nice enough to you know tell you like oh can you just do this this and this please then you know they will at least they will give you some kind of idea when and what ability abilities to use if you wanted to support your team um and of course if there is already a light binder on the team then you can just do it like dps or if there is no tank in the team you can do definitely tank maybe you're not going to be a great tank maybe you, you possibly can die as well but at least you know you, you'll try to help somehow you know and don't get you know too frustrated about it it, it just it's just skyforce it happens uh but yeah that's pretty much all for now i didn't do a lot of cathedral upgrades the only two bonuses that i got it was from the provinces so the next my next reward after the after i complete the artemian mountains so it will be 600 argents a thousand followers another one rank for the tower of knowledge uh then the rare weapon a rare brooch and then test uh, 10 special regenerations which is your healing items and by the way speaking of healing items you can assign them on a quick access panel when you put this first on the c1 or it's a usually it's a control one they will appear on your h button if you can see right now next to the mount like underneath my uh, dashes next to the ultimate ability there is a h button so that's the healing ability that i can use if i have to and i didn't i did use all my knowledge of enemies to upgrade my tower because i do have to do that because in order to up my rank there is no other options for me to do and what else i've done i will do i will focus more on regions right now because i don't want to go through the provinces really really fast i want to do it a little bit slower and kind of see you know the options and the difficulty of the of this new beginning you know like new, the new player part so of course uh, the next day i will focus on doing some regions i will finish up probably i will definitely try to finish this province right here to get this bastion and get the paint shock right away because it will definitely help stun single enemies that way they're not gonna you know jump on you uh definitely gonna help out that so i'll finish next day which is tomorrow i will finish this province and then i'll start working on this region lender forest and i'll do nayori island and then of course i'll do the milan caves and lake and grotto so i'll try to do it it's gonna take me a while to do the regions because they have shitloads of quests there and on the new character like that it takes a while to actually do it because you don't kill enemies with one shot so that's the only reason and yeah so this is it for this video guys uh this is a day one there is not much you know things you can do there is nothing too complicated everything right now straightforward just read the quest that shows on your top right corner of your screen and it tells you what to do just pay attention on that don't be you know don't get frustrated don't get nervous it's really straightforward and yeah so I'm just going to finish up. I'm pretty sure the video is already too long. And yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like the video, smash that like button. Also, don't forget to activate notification that you're not going to miss new video I post. You can follow me on Twitter, join my Discord server. All the links you can find in the description. And until the next time, take care.